Hey, what's going on you guys? Welcome back to another Screw Toy action figure review. And today we'll be looking at the NEGA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, April O'Neil. And I'm happy to have this figure in hand, man. This thing was just announced a couple weeks ago and it's now hitting stores. I don't even know the official name of this figure, but uh, very happy to have this figure in hand, man. I was sorely missing in April from my collection. And for NECA to re-release this was just a genius idea. This thing comes with a whole bunch of accessories. And it just looks like a great figure overall, man. So again, very happy to have this figure in hand. But let's get a quick look at the packaging. Then we'll get a quick look at the figure itself. Now getting a look at the slip cover or the little flap cover. It is a very nice image of the animated turtles. Looking at April O'Neil on the news. You get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Interest Story. Now I don't know if that's the official name of this figure. Again, I've seen a couple of different names online. So uh, I'll have the official name up on the title. But uh, yeah, not too sure about this. Nickelodeon. NECA on top you get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon some warnings do not eat the accessories on the side you get Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Interest Story I'm guessing that's the name of the figure since it's on the on the box a couple of times you get NECA Nickelodeon volume number 11 not too sure what that is on the back you get a read up of uh, April O'Neil right there so if you want to pause that and read that now you can do so you get some product images right there her interviewing some people her locked up, her interviewing this lady. I'm not too sure who that is. On the side, same thing as the other side, just reversed. On the bottom, you get a whole bunch of bullshit, but you do get Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You get the barcode, so if you need that now, you can pause that and screenshot that as well. On the inside, you get some product images and the product itself and all the accessories that it does come with. So very nice offering right here, as you can see. Uh, very nice display option as well. You can have it kind of like that. But yeah, man, enough about this packaging. Let's crack this bad girl open. Now getting a quick look at the many accessories that do come with this figure. Straight out the packaging, April O'Neil does come with a set of gripping hands. She also does come with a set of open palmed hands. An even wider set of open palmed hands. A set of peace sign hands. A set of pointer finger hands. And the last set of hands that she does come with are these thumbs up hands. Now she obviously does come with her Channel 6 News microphone, her Channel 6 News tape recorder, her Channel 6 News camera. She also does come with a little shell phone. She also does come with this little picture frame and honestly this is slipping my mind. I do not know who this person is in the picture so if you guys can let me know down in the comments below I would very much appreciate that. She also does come with this little Venus flytrap, this little stone gerbil and I'm not too sure what this gerbil is but it does remind me of Mikey as a little gerbil so I don't know if these two correlate but again if you guys can let me know down in the comments below I would really appreciate that. She also does come with this potted plant and it's the exact same one we saw in the Splinter and Baxter 2 pack. She also does come with a pizza monster I think these are the ones that came with the actual pizza monster itself and I like it man some more variety for my pizza monsters on my shelf as I do have these right here the little crawling ones so it's nice to have a little standing one. She also does come with this little capture trapping mechanism for her kidnapping. And I like it, man, but this doesn't complete the look. She also does have three different head sculpts. This first one being this very beautiful and neutral head sculpt. But to complete this overall look, she also does come with this blindfolded head sculpt. And the last head sculpt and also my favorite head sculpt that she does come with is this open mouth smiling April O'Neil head sculpt. And here we have April O'Neil. And just straight up, man, I really, really enjoy this figure quite a bit. It's perfect, honestly. <laughs> There's not much more I could have asked for. The accessories are a bunch load. The figure itself is beautiful and nicely executed. I mean, this is just, you know, April O'Neil from the animated series jumped out straight out of the TV, man. This, this thing is just amazing. Uh, I think more than anything, I'm just happy to have her. I know she was really really hard to find in the aftermarket those prices were just crazy man so very happy the NECA re-released this figure for us uh collectors that did not get this figure in the past i know i jumped into the uh, NECA turtle game way way later on after this figure was released but just getting a quick look at the figure itself man this thing is just again perfectly executed you get the cell shaded lines throughout the whole body Again, the cell shading lining or cartoon lining that NECA does is unmatched. I don't think anybody does it better than NECA. Uh, yeah, just getting a quick look at the hair. You get that um, that lining again throughout the hair. The face looks very, very pretty. As you can see, very nicely done, man. 
The yellow jumpsuit looks good. Again, you get that black lining throughout the whole suit. And there's just so much to look at throughout the whole body. It's not just a boring yellow plastic down here. Again, you get the black lining, get all these wrinkles. You get the belt, the buckles painted in there. All these belt loops, the little thing on the back of her uh, suit. You get these little rings right here. The pockets. All the way down to her white boots that do look nice. And then she does have a watch or a bracelet on her arm that is sculpted on there. It's not removable. Again, I don't have the original release of this figure, so I can't compare it or I can't tell you what the difference is. But yeah, man, just overall a very solid figure. A few complaints. The neck is a little bit long. I know a lot of people mentioned that, that the neck is just a tad bit long. And on the bottom, on her crotch, it seems like it's coming a bit undone there. So I'm going to have to dab some super glue to kind of get that back together. So yeah, just a few minor um, imperfections on this figure, but nothing too crazy. Out of the packaging, her joints weren't stiff or anything. I didn't have to boil her to kind of get her uh, loose or anything. The the joints were fairly smooth and, and, and everything. So uh, yeah, man, neck is just getting better and better. Again, a few minor QC issues like the crotch kind of coming apart right there um, not a big deal again just a dab of super glue will fix that but uh yeah man overall very solid figure now let's get a quick look at our articulation her head is on a dumbbell joint and it can move up uh not much up as you can see it just extends that neck so pushing that back down she can look down not much it kind of just springs back into place so uh she does get some head pivoting or head rotation i'm sorry and then her head doesn't really pivot. So not much articulation out of the head, which is a little bit unfortunate. Her arms are on ball joints and she can hit a T-pose fairly easy. She does have double jointed elbows to bend in a great amount, but then they start looking a little wonky right there. But that's a typical neck articulation when um, you have an arm kind of set up like this. So not too bad, but it does look a bit not good <laughs> you do get some rotation out of there uh, her hands all of her hands have a horizontal hinge to hinge up and down and rotate a full 360 she does have a diaphragm cut that pivots this much to this side this much to this side she can crunch this much forward that much back and then it rotates a full 360 she does have upper die cuts and i feel like every company should be moving to this die cuts are ugly uh, these upper thigh rotations on the upper hips where you can't see it, it's the way to go, man. Because again, just that cut across the thigh is unnatural and I don't like it. So you get some shifting out of there, which is um, fairly done fairly well. Most of the NECA figures have that uh, articulation scheme right there. She does have double jointed knees to bend in. Great amount, can easily kick her own ass. And then she does have a hinge at the foot that hinges this much forward, that much back. And then you get ankle pivot with pebbles at the bottom of the feet. Now getting a quick look at some size comparisons. Here we have April O'Neil next to the NECA, Master Splinter, and Raphael. Here she is next to Mikey and Donatello. Here she is next to Leonardo and all the baby turtles. And last but not least, here we have her next to Toka and Raza. And there you have it, a very solid release by NECA. As always expected, man, NECA always, always kills it with the animated figures. Anything TMNT, they always knock it out the park. But this April O'Neil is just beyond expectations. Honestly, I didn't know what I was going into. I saw that this figure was announced. I was excited for it, but didn't know what the accessories were, or what it included. And once I got the figure in hand and I saw everything she came with, I was already blown away just from looking at it from in package. And then when I took it out and started playing around with her, I was just, again, amazed and blown away, man. This, this April O'Neil is the definitive be all and all April O'Neil's from the animated series. It comes with everything you need. Tons of hands, tons of microphones, a camera, everything you can expect to come with an April O'Neil. She comes with, man, and it's just, again, uh, a home run by NECA, honestly. I'm not going to go on and on about this figure because I'll be here all night. But this this figure, man, was definitely knocked out the park by NECA, man. And I uh, highly, highly recommend you go pick this figure up if you're able to find it at your local target um i think this ran about 36.99 plus tax i think it was like 40.04 here in texas 
in Houston, Texas. So, uh, yeah, man, if you're able to find this figure and you don't have an April O'Neil for your animated series collection of TMNT, definitely, definitely pick this figure up, man. You will not be disappointed. And if you already have the previous figure of this um, April O'Neil, not sure what to tell you, man. I don't have that previous release or any of the previous releases of this April O'Neil. But I can assure you that it doesn't come with this many accessories. So definitely pick this figure up, man. But enough of me rambling on. Make sure you guys hit that sub and like button. Let me know down in the comments below what you think about this figure. And make sure you follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. The links to all those are in the description down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.